Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Hillsboro, Ohio, which is a town where Johnny Paycheck had a very famous barroom dispute. Take this job and shove it. That landed him an eight year sentence in prison, but only served just about two years. But we're not here to look at the history about Johnny Paycheck. We're actually here to take you guys to a restaurant where there's only 17 locations remaining, and there used to be over 400 franchise restaurants that existed throughout the United States. Gentry, where are we going to today? Ponderosa. Ponderosa menu. Over here we have sirloin and grilled shrimp, a 10 ounce ribeye, and a one pound T-bone. Of course you can see how much it costs individually by itself or if you would like to add on the buffet as well. Right over here we have sirloin tips, cheeseburger or grilled chicken, grilled prime rib, ribs. Over here we have a 10 ounce center cut sirloin. Right here is sirloin and chicken Monterey. And here we have a chopped steak. Over here we have fried shrimp, seafood feast, grilled or fried shrimp, and salmon. Here are the prices for the buffet by themselves. They do serve Pepsi products. They also have a seniors discount that's available. And down here they have different specialties where it's soup and salad bar only. Kids three and under eat free. We're very excited about that. Henry will be free. They also have ages four to seven for $4.99, and then Gentry's in the eight to 12 category for $6.99. And any buffet added onto a steakhouse meal is only $6 extra. All right, guys, so right here we got chicken and noodles, macaroni, some meatloaf. Right here, and some sweet potatoes. Except there's a really cool garnish of marshmallows on top, green beans, ham. Right over here we've got some beef and noodles, carrots. Right here is Salisbury steak, some melted cheese, and some taco meat. Right over here we've got some chips to go with that taco meat. Here we've got some brown gravy, white gravy, mashed potatoes, fried chicken, country fried steak, back here is some broccoli, right here we've got some stuffing or dressing, right here we've got some clam chowder soup, chicken noodle soup, back here is some chili, here are some peaches, right here is some coconut fluff, strawberry pie, carrot cake, the red velvet roll. We've got some bread pudding, cherry cobbler. Over here we've got apple crisp and some peach cobbler. And here's some peanut butter fudge, pumpkin pie. Right back there, some whipped cream, along with some cherry topping. Here's some cookies. And they do have an ice cream machine, vanilla. Chocolate vanilla mixed chocolate. Over here is a toppings bar. Got some gummy worms, vanilla wafers, sprinkles, chopped nuts. Right here, these look like butter fingers and Oreo cookies. Over here at the salad bar, we've got some lettuce, cheese, banana peppers, tomatoes, onions, beets, cucumbers, broccoli. Parmesan cheese with some Caesar salad. 
us have ranch, blue cheese, honey mustard, French, raspberry, vinaigrette, more Italian, here's a potato salad, black olives, green olives, cottage cheese, egg salad, pasta salad, mac and cheese, they even have a seafood salad right back here. Here is a corn salad, a bow tie pasta salad. All right, Jennifer, what'd you end up getting there? Um, they have a really good looking salad bar up there. So I got some salad with some cheddar and some Parmesan. And then uh, I got some coleslaw, a couple of the pasta salads, my favorite cucumbers. And they've got pickled beets and then some vegetables to dip. What about over here? I got the chicken with the country fried steak. And I remember them having really good potato wedges, so I had to get one of those. Chicken and noodles, macaroni, and some vegetables. I'm gonna try the chicken and noodles, which is what they're famous for in this area. Very good. And then I also have beef and noodles. And they're kind of like, with a different type of noodle, like an egg noodle. And just a piece of beef on there. Pretty good too, I think the chicken and noodles is better. And here, so here is the country fried steak. It has like a little white peppery batter on there. So um, that's not exactly the same or uh, as good as Mrs. Winters. I don't know if you've ever had Mrs. Winters steak or biscuits whenever they have had uh, Mrs. Winters, but that's really similar. This is what I remember of Ponderosa growing up. I always had to get the potato skins, and as you can see, they brown them good and crispy on there. So I can't wait to try it. It's really good. I ended up getting some mashed potatoes with gravy, green beans, chicken. Look at this meatloaf right here. All right, guys, I'm gonna start off here with the mashed potatoes and gravy. Look at the pepper in that gravy. The gravy's really good. The mashed potatoes are not my favorite. All right, now I'm gonna try some of the green beans. The green beans have large chunks of bacon that are cooked in with the green beans. Here we go. Those are pretty good. They need a little bit more salt but I like when buffets actually don't already include the salt. That way you can put as much or as little salt onto the green beans as you would like. But the bacon in itself gives it a little bit of sodium, but it needs just a little hint of salt and it'll be perfect. All right guys, now I'm gonna try some of the meatloaf here. That's an excellent meatloaf. Now it's time for some of that chicken. You can tell that it's not dried out by any means. It's juicy. Let's see how it tastes. The chicken is good in itself. Needs a little bit of seasoning in my opinion. Just something to kind of spice it up to give it a little more depth and flavor. But as far as actually the chicken and how the chicken is cooked, it's a very good chicken. Just needs a little more flavor. And Gentry ended up getting some good food there. Looks like some chips and cheese. Gotta go with that macaroni. Uh, some tater skins. What type of soup did you get? I got some chili. Nice. What type of soup did you get, Henry? Looks like some chicken noodle. Yeah. What else you got there? Chicken, carrots, green beans. So I got the sirloin tips and it comes with sauteed mushrooms and onions and I love mushrooms so I'm excited about those and then I got it with a baked potato. Alright. And you got those medium well, is that right? I got them well done. Well done. Those are so good. They're really tender and flavorful, and you can taste like the sauteed onion and mushroom and the flavoring of the meat. And I'm gonna try some mushroom and onion. Those are really good too. The mushrooms are really good and flavorful and tender, and then the onions have kind of like a sweet onion taste. Here is my sirloin steak, and they did provide the option to add butter and sour cream. Here's some cocktail sauce, and. Here is the shrimp on a great big bed of rice. Here is my medium steak, and here's the first bite. 
you know, they've had 40 years to perfect this steak, and I will say it's a very good steak, especially for a, a buffet house. I'm actually pretty impressed with this steak. It's been probably 15 years, 10, 15 years since we've been to a Ponderosa, and they have some excellent steak. I'm gonna try one of the shrimp now. It's very good, I have no complaints. I mean, it's not over the top delicious. It's one of my favorite shrimp I've ever had, but if I were to give it a, a, a 10 point scale, I would give it a seven on a 10 point scale. All right, everybody, this is my Papa Franklin, and he's gonna tell us what his favorite thing was here at Ponderosa today. Uh, well, I think I had a little bit of everything, and everything I had was really good. I ate too much. Now it's time for a nap. <laughs> I hear you. All right, Gentry and Henry are finishing off a meal some ice cream. How's the ice cream, Gentry? How's the ice cream, Henry? Here is the final receipt. The receipt's a little wrinkled, but we did have one kid's buffet for an eight to 12 year old. Henry was completely free. Three and under is free, so he's in that category. The final bill before tip was $58.73. Not bad at all. Check it out, they even have the claw game. All right, Henry hit the button. Good Almost. job. Give one more chance. Oh, so close. All right, everybody, that was Ponderosa. Gentry, what did you think about Ponderosa? You have to get the dessert. <laughs> what was your favorite dessert? The ice cream and the cookies and the macaroni. All right. And Henry, what did you think about Ponderosa? I couldn't get no hot dogs. You wanted a hot dog today, but they didn't have it. So, but what did you enjoy that was on your plate? I loved the macaroni and the corn, and I liked it. All right. <coughs> and Jennifer. I thought it was really good. The steak tips were really tender and flavorful. The mushrooms were awesome, and the salad was great. Everything was really, really good. So when it comes to the buffet food, some of it was okay, some of it was bland, and some of it was really good. I will say the meatloaf was excellent. And when it comes to the steak, I was actually very surprised at how great the steak was. Well seasoned, very tender. It was a well cut piece of steak. I was a big fan of the steak and I absolutely thought it was just going to be a very average cut, uh, an average season. Uh, but it was a really excellent and fantastic steak. There are only 17 of these still remaining here in the United States, which is mind-blowing considering there used to be over 400 franchise Ponderosas across the U.S. But we sure do thank you guys for tagging along with us today, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday.